Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Super Cosmic. And in this video, we'll be testing out Captain America Sharon Rogers with her Poseidon armor uniform in Alliance Battle Extreme. Now, we know she got a little bit of a buff, kind of a buff in her animation uh, that makes the accumulation functions much better and much more effective. Uh, and we'll be testing her out in Alliance Battle Extreme with this new uniform and see how well she performs. So, let's get into the details page real quick. I have 50,000 energy attack, max attack speed, critical damage, ignore defense, and skill cooldown with 58% critical rate and 75% dodge rate. Uh, the critical rates, we don't have to worry about it because she already gives herself another critical rate from her fifth skill, I believe. Yep, increases her critical rates by 35%, which is pretty good. Um, for the gears, I have one Odin's Blessing and about six energy attack urus legendary ones two mythic uh, energy attack uru and about two mm, legendary hp urus with an extra two legendary critical rate urus and one mythic critical rate uru and i have two extra legendary critical damage urus to max out her critical damage uh all of her skills are level six well, not all of them, just the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th skill. The 1st and the 2nd skill are meaningless, you don't need to upgrade them at all, you can just leave them right there. Uh, for the Titan Hasman, she has a rank 1. The ISO 8 set is stage 6 Hawk's Eye. I have 6 star artifact with basic damage increase to leadership ability characters, which is useless because we are going against villains and villains tend not to have leadership ability, not all of them, most of them do not have it. Uh, and we have a CTP of energy with 200% proc damage. And the uniform is at normal. Let's check out the cards real quick. I have 81% all attack increase with 40% energy attack increase and an extra 20% energy attack increase proc. So with that being said guys, let's jump off in Alliance Battle Extreme and see how good she is with this new uniform and the extra small buff she, that she got on her third skill. I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some egos to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make every Everything just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, rice, so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine
So we were able to get an 8.6 million and Alliance Battle Extreme with Sharon Rogers. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good for a build that I have on her right now. Uh, she seems really strong. She hits really, really hard. The only problem that she has is obviously the accumulation part. Um, the Frost Beast tends not to attack you as much. Uh, his attacks are... They don't hit really hard for you to accumulate properly, to put it that way. And he doesn't hit as often as he should. So the damage fluctuation is up there. She gets... Like, when she accumulates properly, she hits really hard, and sometimes she doesn't hit hard at all. Uh, that's because, like I said, the Frost Beast doesn't hit as hard, and the Frost Beast doesn't hit you as much he should. So, yeah. But overall, she definitely seems like she has a damage. She has the potential uh, for Alliance Battle Extreme and Alliance Battle Legend. I believe she has, like, Silence in, in some of her skills and Paralysis. Well, she has Paralysis right here. Uh, on her second skill she has paralysis, she has burn and silence on her third skill, on her fourth skill she has another silence, and on her fifth skill she has snare and fracture and burn. So she basically has all the effects for alliance battle extreme and two effects for the alliance battle legend. Uh, she, for the alliance battle legend she only has snare and fracture, she doesn't have shock, which is another third effect for the alliance battle legend. Um, yeah, she definitely has a potential, she definitely hits really hard, she's easy to play, uh, she's obviously very proc friendly right now, um, and yeah, um, can't say much, she's definitely up there, my question is, is she worth to build up to tier 4, I'm not sure if you want to get her to tier 4, go ahead, I'm not sure, but I still believe that tier 4 Iron Man is probably the best blast tier 4 so far uh, for PvE content. Um, and he has this uh, value where he come, he becomes like a villain from his uh, superior Iron Man uniform. And he becomes a hero from his best back to basics uniform. So do with that as you will. Um, yeah, she, she definitely hits really hard. She definitely hits really hard. She definitely has a... The highest potential, I would say, for a blast tier 4. The only problem is that we already have tier 4 Iron Man, so if you tier 4 Iron Man, then she's probably not needed. But if you have a tier 4 Iron Man and you want to tier 4 her, then you can go ahead and do it. Me personally, I'll just leave her at level 70. I don't think I need another tier 4 blast type um, at all. Uh, yeah. Again. Uh, she's easy to play. She has damage. She has good survivability right now, not like before, where she used to struggle a lot in World Boss Legend. But um, overall, uh, she's a powerhouse. She's a powerhouse. She's always been a powerhouse for uh, PVE content. And I believe that she's going to last in the meta for a very, very long time. So, yeah, that's probably my final thoughts on her n build. And her performance that I have on her right now uh, with this testings that I've done with her in Alliance Battle Extreme and World Boss Legend. I'll probably, probably maybe try her out in Giant Boss Raid or Mamo maybe with, at level 70. Maybe she can do really, really good at level 70 as well with that accumulation type of thing. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah. Uh, Sharon Rogers. Definitely, definitely probably a worthy character to get to tier 3 and get her latest uniform and maybe tier 4 her if you feel like it so yeah we're just gonna wrap this up right you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and share so it'll help the channel grow hit the notification ring bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos i'll be posting on this channel join my discord server if you should discuss with me about the character uniform build rotation and all that kind of stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video take care Peace.